James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 28, 2023, 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. According to NOAA and NASA, we just had a large solar flare detected by our ghost X-ray flux, our ghost satellite. That was a 4.0, according to NASA, a 4.01. Not a big difference, according to NOAA. You can see that that happened right at 1600 UTC time. We also want to talk about this flare. It was an M1.7 solar flare. Lasted almost an hour in M territory. I'm going to show you that eruption today. It's quite impressive. With that said, over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. I've never seen a solar flare look this intense. So much heavy plasma was lifted from the surface here. Never on GOES have I seen anything that looks like this. Remember, these sunspots are now gas giant facing. When they hit the limb over there, they seem to explode when they face the gas giants. Look how impressive this was. We know it was much larger than an M4.1, but that is what it was covered as by NASA and NOAA. This blast was not directly Earth-facing, obviously, but it was picked up by our GOES X-ray flux, our GOES solar ultraviolet imager, and our X-ray absorption, as we will soon see. This was probably some sort of X-flare, but since it did occur on the limb, our satellites didn't enjoy the full effect of it, thus the M4.1 classification. We should see a solar storm in 48 hours based on our GOES satellite being hit and the X-ray absorption here on Earth, as you will soon see. We are currently running a C-plus baseline. This is the M4.1. 4.01 solar flare with the associated coronal mass ejection for sure and you can see that we had a x-ray absorption event as well covering parts of north south america all of the caribbean and even parts of the east coast of the united states and canada this occurred at 1554 just about 1600 utc time that would be 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. The M4.01 flare originated right here from AR3376 on the limb. And yesterday's going into this morning's M1.7 flare originated from AR3388. And it actually pushed out a huge halo ejection that we'll take a look at. Remember, it lasted in M territory over one hour. Believe it or not, you'll see that this flare originated from right at that time period, AR3388. Look at that halo explosion. Absolutely enormous. Look at the strength of the explosion. You can see that it was Earth directed. We know it was. It was from AR3388. 3388. I'm sure that they will say it just missed Earth or it will brush Earth as usual. With that said, we all know we can't trust any data coming from NASA. We'll try to put all this together and compare several agencies tonight around 930 Central Time. Please join us for our live space weather update. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.